It now appears that the dog electrocuted by a Seattle City Light pole last month was not an isolated incident, as Seattle City Light first thought. Another incident happened just a few days ago near West Seattle. And as King 5's Lori Matsukawa shows us, it's prompting big changes from Seattle City Light. Wendy Hughes Jelen's dog doesn't want to go anywhere near this street light just outside their High Point home. She always puts my body between her and the pole because she's afraid of it. That's because little Sophia apparently sensed the electricity surging from the pole while they were out for a walk earlier this week. A leak in the line later confirmed by power crews. Well, I'm just really glad I don't have a dead dog. It's at least the third incident in recent weeks, starting with a Thanksgiving Day electrocution of a family dog on Queen Anne Hill. Seattle City Light says frayed wires and a failure by a contractor to ground electrical cables led to all three incidents. But it claims the wires are fixed and safe. Come on, let's get home to go to school. Dolores Perez's children play right next to the high point pole. She isn't so sure. Even though they say it's safe, I mean, they thought it, they were safe in the first place. It's highly unusual. Today, the head of the utility announced his agency will soon begin inspecting all 20,000 metal light poles in the city, including those in three government housing authority developments, New Holly, Greenbridge, and Rainier Vista. He also says Seattle City Light will take over responsibility for inspecting the light poles from the Seattle Department of Transportation, but would not blame SDOT inspectors for the problems. You know, sometimes you inspect the facility, it, you think it's properly configured, and something could have been modified later by somebody else, so a lot of things can happen. And Meantime, many are hoping City Light gets it right before there's another shocking incident. This is basic stuff, so there's really no excuse for this kind of problem. Lori Matsukawa, King 5 News. City Light is still trying to get to the bottom of who exactly is to blame for the problems. They are talking to the contractors who installed the lights. If you're worried about a street light in your neighborhood, head to king5.com for information on how to report it.